There are so many things you can use to hold your Christmas ornaments for paint pour projects. Popsicle sticks, cups, wooden dowels, they all work, but my process takes me from start to finish with no mess to clean up. Watch my video and see what I use. Quite interesting. So I did tell myself that I was not going to do any more pouring ornaments. However, I have paint left over and I need to use it up. So I'm really not quite sure how many I need to prepare. So I'm just going to put some on here and then get my paint out and see how many I can make. And as I was doing this, I had a Eureka light bulb moment for another, another idea. So I'm gonna see, see how it goes. All right, so this is 12, and I think that's a perfect, um perfect start so i am going to glove up there are the leftover paints that i have so let me see if i can remember i've been these have been sitting for a little while um this is uh, art smith turquoise blue there's really not that much left i'm gonna have to probably thin it out this is thio cyanine green and it's a little too green for me but i'm going to use it anyway and then this is Aqua Liquitex Basics Bright Aqua Green. Um, Art Deco Gold. I don't have very much left. I need to mix up some more. And then um, Deep Blue. And this is Dollar Store. These are all mixed. One part paint, four parts Floetrol. And I'm going to add actually a little bit more Floetrol. And um, it's American Floetrol, a little bit of water just to thin it out a little bit. They're, they've been sitting, so it's a little bit thick. And I'm gonna... mm. I need white. I need some more white just for my layered cup for my layered paints i'm using apple barrel only because i have it um, i had used titanium white last time or i think it was liquitex basics maybe or in amsterdam i'm going to do this uh one to one also or no excuse me one part paint four parts blow troll i'm going to add a little bit more Flow troll to the gold and I think to this blue just to kind of give me a little bit more of those two colors and it's going to thin it out a little bit I might not get the deep color that I was hoping for but it's okay okay so that's the white I don't know I already have a stick in there Green. Boy, this green is green. It is a green green. Oh, geez. It might be a little thin. Oh, yeah, that one's thick. So, I have a little bit more water. I want these a little thinner than the last ones that I did because. I'm pouring on these flat ornaments, so I'm not really worried that much about my paint running off like the round ornament as much. Ah! All right, it is what it is. All right, Mr. Gold. No, I'm just 
So my plan is to um, do a ring pour on one side. When it's dry, I'm going to flip it over and put something else on the back. So I'm only going to put a base color. Um, I guess this is like our flood coat. I'm only going to use use that on one side. And what this is doing is priming the bulb so that we can do a ring pour and our colors just will flow so much better. And at first, when I first did this on that first video, I thought, wow, what an amazing waste of paint. But it's really not. It's really, this has worked so much better than my previous times doing, um, well, I didn't do a ring pour on some of my earlier videos. I did more swipes. And I didn't use enough of a, I guess this is like a flood coat like your initial flood coat. Um, I don't know. I don't really do much acrylic painting or or painting, so I'm not really sure what the proper terminology is, but this works beautifully. Um, degree. Um, let me, I'm just going to go ahead and do all of them. And I'm probably going to run out of paint. So what is that? That's eight. Okay, I'm going to stop with eight because I may not have enough paint. Okay, I'm going to stop with eight. I'm thinking now I might not have enough, but if I don't, then well, we'll figure it out. All right, I need a cup and I'm going to start layering in my paints and I'm going to start with white because I guess that's like the rule or something. I'm going to pour down the side. Green, separate it, with green gold. And I am not thrilled with this green, but I'm going to go with it because we got it. So I have a lot of that left over. White, turquoise blue. God, these are really thick. Is what it is, and let's do some more of this aqua that is looking more minty, but um, be all right. Um, you know, I didn't add any of this blue. Oh snap! Might be too many colors, but. Yellow and blue make green. Blue and green make something. I don't know what the rule is. More gold. This is a hodge podge. Hodge podge. Podge. All right, all right. All right, here we go. Y'all, it's so thick.
pretty. Look how pretty it is. Look at that. That's so cool. Really trying to get a small ring for that first blob layer was really thick. Getting some of the lighter colors in through there. I want to move some of that on here. I'm getting some weird little amoebas or something in there, but I have tons of paint left over, so um, I really need to regroup here and get some more ornament. Holy cow, can you see those? Look, 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 look at those. Look how cool. Look how cool those are. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is move these out of the way a little bit. And, you know, I'm getting really, really good coverage on the back. And I didn't even put any white paint at all on the back. Um, Holy cow, look at these. Y'all, look at this one. Look at this one. This is the blue. This is the blue. I got to do some more of that. That's really freaking cool. Um, oh my God, these are just amazing. These are so cool. Now, this white paint, or my base paint, is just house paint. Thinned out with water and Floetol. I'm going to go ahead and use it all up. Okay, i got to use this up. Look at the cells. Look at that. Look how cool. You see it? Oh, can you see this one? Yes, okay. Let's zoom, let's zoom in. If we can, the angle might be bad, but um, I'm gonna have to fire my cameraman, which is me. Oh my God, I'm, I'm amazed by all of this, honestly. <clears throat> Some of the gold start to come out. Can you see this one? No. Sorry. Can you see that one? Yeah. Can we see this one? I want to get rid of this 
I think some of the um, earlier is going to start to be flat. You see that one? This one has starting to get a bad case of acne. But Look at the cells. Oh my goodness. Wow. 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 Oh, I'm going to lose all of it all the green on this one. It just keeps spreading and spreading. Can we see these two at all? We can't see those, can we? Okay, hold on. All right, it's these two. We can see those, all right. Something in that apple barrel, I think. I'm in love with that one right there. So my microphone ran out of battery again, um, cause I forgot to plug it in before this video, but the rest of the video, I'm just using up the rest of my paint and prepping the rest of the ornaments in the pack. So I think the pack is either 24, 25 ornaments. And so I'm just using up the rest of my paint to make all the ornaments in the pack. So I ended up with, yes, 25. Um, I just looked. But isn't this process absolutely mesmerizing? I mean, it is just, I don't know why I've never done this before. I've always done either a swipe or some other kind of, of method, but I'm in love with the uh, ring pour now, as you can probably tell. These really turned out so much better than I had hoped. I am so thrilled with this look at these I, they're gonna they're gonna be stunning when i put resin on them so the drip on the back is really kind of cool too and um i think i want to put some something on the back to embellish them and um not really quite sure what yet but i'm gonna just turn all these over and see what i have my original plan was to maybe leave the backs of some of them plain and just kind of show, you know, the cool pattern that the drips left, but I changed my mind. I'm using KS Resin Liquidy Split, and I'm just putting on a really thin layer on each one of these ornaments. And here is why I changed my mind on my original plan to just embellish a few of these with some crushed glass. I had sifted through my clear crushed glass, sifting out the larger pieces, and that way I was left with just the little finer pieces of glass. But even those were too heavy to stick to the resin. They kept falling off. So I got a little frustrated with that. I didn't really like how 
um, how the glass looked. So I tossed that idea aside and went to plan B. I've got some some sand that I just sifted and I'm just going to sprinkle it on here just like that. Yeah, that'll work. This will work. Now some of the smaller, you see some of the smaller glass may work too, like the really fine, fine, fine stuff. It'll look kind of cool. Now you don't have to embellish the backs at all if you don't want to. This is just what I prefer to do because this is what my ornaments are kind of known for. So, um, it's just what I'm going to I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave these plain because I think they're kind of cool, just just like that. They just form forming this pattern. Um, yeah, that will work just fine. I would put a little bit of glitter maybe on this chunky dollar store glitter, but um, it's going to go everywhere because my fan is going. Oh my goodness. Just mix it up in there. I have a little bit left in my cup. I'm going to use that as my glue. You add these little ornaments. If I should just do this, maybe try something. Let me try something different. I should have just left that on. I 
Yeah, that'll work. I normally put a little dab of leftover resin on the back of the charm and then put it, put the charm onto the ornament, but putting the charm on the ornament, on the ornament first and then drizzling the leftover resin works so much faster and just, to me, it just works a little bit better. So that's what I'm going to do from now on. Because it's dinner time and I'm ready to go fix some dinner. So I'm going to let these sit. These will cure. These will be nice and shiny and perfect in the morning. So although I'm using KS Resin Liquidy Split, which is a fast set resin, it's dry to the touch in two to four hours, I do let these cure overnight and mainly because I either have dinner to make or I've got something else going on, you know, laundry, whatever. But um, so once these cure, I'm just taking each one and shaking off any excess sand and any excess glitter. And normally I don't lose very much, but I do want to shake off, um, you know, anything that's loose. These turned out really, really cute and really happy with them. Oh, this one's so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Mm. And because I'm using my ornament pedestal jig, I don't have to prepare another workspace to finish up my ornaments. As I was putting the little metal hanger caps back on, I discovered that I could use my jig to put the ornaments upright so that the cap faces towards the top. And that just makes it a little bit more convenient to add on the hanger string. And I'm just using raffia ribbon that I probably bought at Hobby Lobby or Joanne, or I may even gotten it at a thrift store. But I just have, um, I think each length is probably maybe eight to 10 inches. And I just loop it through the little metal loop on the hanger. And then I just, um, tie a little knot at the top and, and there's the hanger. I cannot believe that I've waited so long to try a ring pour on these. These turned out so good. Look at that. Isn't that just a perfect under the sea look? Oh my gosh. This one, especially with all the glitter on it, it's very, it's almost like a mirror. These turned out so cute. Look at that. I'm gonna show you all of them. I am just in love. In love. I need to do more of this color, I think. The teal. Um, I do like the combination with that dark blue. So I need to I need to figure out this green. I'm not gonna use this green anymore. It's just too, it's too green. Uh, maybe I need to mix it and tone it down a little bit, make maybe make it more of a um Mm, like a turquoise, but, um, and I'm not going to use the glass on it anymore. It's not that it's sharp. It's just making it a little too heavy. Um, but this is my favorite. I think the favorite combination here, this look, this, almost like a ribbon pour. Oh, I just love it. And all the cells. I mean, I was, I was worried that I was going to lose the cells and I kind of did on some of them, but on some, they really stuck with me. They didn't stretch out like I had thought they would. And now some, they did. Some of the, some of the cells did stretch out, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, stretch out a little bit too much, but, um, I am definitely trying this again. Definitely, definitely trying this again. Let me know which one you like the best. Um, I'm having a hard time picking a favorite, honestly.
Um, well, let's see some of the fronts with the little turtles and the starfish. And those are my favorite. I mean, the turtles and starfish, you're going to see a lot of on these. But let me know which one you like the best. These will be going in my booth for sure. Well, thank you so much for sticking around and watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, become inspired to try this yourself. Thank you so much, friends. See you next time.